In the previous lecture, we completed economic load dispatch and now it's time to solve one problem based on it. In this problem, the incremental fuel cost for two generating units G1 and G2 are given by this where PG1 and PG2 are real powers generated by the units and we need to calculate the economic allocation for a total load of 250 megawatt neglecting the transmission losses. So this is the problem and you can see four options on your screen. Now there are two ways to find out the correct option and we will start with the method number one. In the first method we will not exactly calculate PG1 and PG2 but we will try to find out or you can say we will try to make a correct guess by drawing the characteristics of uh, the two generating units and if you remember the last lecture I explained the fuel cost characteristics in which the x-axis the x-axis is for the power in megawatt and the y-axis the y-axis is for the incremental cost IC and if you see the incremental cost for the generator G1 it is given by this and it is nothing but the equation of straight line and the same thing goes for the incremental cost IC2 of generator G2 so we can easily plot the straight line using these two equations let's first plot the line for generator G1 IC1 is Y PG1 is X and we already know the equation of a straight line is y equal to mx plus c. So y is ic1, x is pg1. So m, which is the slope, is equal to 0 0.2 and 25 is the intercept. So 25 is the intercept. Let's say this point here is 25. And uh, we have to take the slope equal to 0 0.2. Let's take a random slope and uh, assume that it is equal to 0 0.2 the next thing is to plot the straight line for generator G2 IC2 is Y PG2 is X therefore slope is equal to 0 0.2 which is same as the slope in case of IC1 and the intercept is now different it is equal to 32 so intercept is different it is equal to 32 greater than the earlier case and the slope is same so we have a straight line like this so in this way you can easily obtain the characteristics for generator g2 and generator g1 and using this we will try to find out the correct option in the last lecture i told you we perform the loading based on the incremental cost the generator having the least incremental cost is loaded more and in this case if you compare G1 and G2 you will find G1 is having the less incremental cost so we will load G1 more G1 is loaded more and using this information we will try to find out the correct option if you see the option D you will find PG1 is less than PG2 so G1 is loaded less than G2 which is not true from here you can see so option D is not the correct option in option C PG1 is equal to 125 megawatt and PG2 is also equal to 125 megawatt this means both the generators are loaded equally which is also not true so option C is also incorrect option B says PG1 is equal to 109.75 megawatt and PG2 is equal to 1140.25 megawatt this option is straight away incorrect so we are left with option A so it must be true but we will check it also PG1 is equal to 142.5 megawatt and PG2 is equal to 107.5 megawatt this shows generator G1 is loaded more than generator G2 and if you add 142.5 and 107.5 you will get 250 megawatt so option A is correct option B was incorrect because of two reasons the first one being generator G1 is loaded less than generator G2 and also if you add 109.75 with 1140.25 then it is much larger than 250 megawatt 
so in this way you can easily find out the correct option and this particular method is good when you appear in any competitive exam this will save you time and now we will discuss the second method in the second method we will use ic1 is equal to ic2 this is for minimum cost and uh, using this we can easily obtain one equation which is pg1 minus pg2 equal to 35 let's say this is equation number one the only thing you have to do is to put ic1 equal to 25 plus 0 0.2 pg1 on the left hand side and IC2 equal to 32.0.2 PG2 on the right hand side and on simplifying you will get this equation and uh, the other equation is PG1 plus PG2 is equal to 250 megawatt 250 megawatt this is the second equation you can see we have two unknowns PG1 and PG2 and we have two equations so we can easily find out PG1 and PG2 by solving the two equations so let's solve it equation 1 plus equation 2 will give us twice of pg1 equal to 285 so pg1 pg1 is equal to 142.5 megawatt i will put this value in equation number 2 and it will give me pg2 equal to 107.5 megawatt so this is the answer and from method 2 also we are getting option a as the correct answer but uh, here we have the exact values of pg1 and pg2 142.5 and 107.5 so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section in the next lecture also we will solve one problem based on economic load dispatch